Together Ride, the fundraising that you're doing for Together Ride allows both organizations, San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center to really pivot and be innovative in, the, in this last year. really amazed by how our clinical and harm reduction team just adjusted. We didn't even close services for one day. The DNA that runs through both of our organizations uh, is, is strong and it has a long history. I am just greatly appreciative to the center for being able to see that there are people in our community that need more resources, different resources than others. Good evening and welcome to Together Ride Presents Season Finale. I'm Gonzalo Garcia. And I'm Albert Ontiveros. We'll be your co-host this evening. Uh, you know, Gonzalo and I have had the pleasure of being your co-host for all of the TRL Together Ride Live uh, episodes throughout the entire season, but we were filming uh, from the comforts and privacy of our own individual homes in separate cities. <laughs> and tonight, for the very first time, we are together in the same studio live, which means I can do things like this. Welcome to the Beyonce Show. I'm just kidding, Gonzalo, come back. <laughs> so nice being in the same room with you. I agree. Again, am I centered, taking my spotlight? Yes, we're good. All right. Well, tonight we are here to celebrate you, our Together Ride participants, whether you were a seasoned athlete or you were just getting started, whether you biked or you ran or you skipped down the street, whether you raised $50 or $5,000, you made a difference in the fight against HIV and AIDS. And we're beyond excited to be celebrating the achievements of this incredible community tonight. Absolutely. And at this time, we would like to introduce a very special individual whose leadership has inspired this Together Ride season so that your fundraising can continue the amazing work of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Please welcome our ride director, Tracy Evans. Oh, hi, guys. I wish I was in the same room with you, but here I am in Oakland, California. I want to say thank you to you two for all season. And I also want to say thank you to all of you, our Together Riders. During the past eight months, you've been busy logging miles, raising money, and hopefully having a little bit of fun along the way. Tonight, we're here to celebrate you and to award our standout performances. I am raising my glass, literally, and toasting all of you with what should be our COVID, our signature COVID cocktail, Resiliency on the Rocks. No doubt, as we make our way to the other side of COVID, we have so much to be grateful for. For me, it is this community and the collective effort we have all put into raising money and supporting these two incredible agencies. As you know, Together Ride was born out of not being able to hold a traditional AIDS life cycle for a second year in a row. And we are beyond excited to welcome more than 800 new people to our community. So let's get started with the awards, beginning with those of you who have joined us for the first time. As you know, Together Ride is an event that was open to anyone from anywhere of any age. We have participants join from London to Colorado, New York to San Diego. You range from two years old to 85 years old. We've loved welcoming so many new folks into our extended AIDS life cycle family and are looking forward to many, many more joining in the near future. Our first award is the Rockstar Rookie Award, celebrating a newbie participant who has come out of the gate swinging. This Rockstar Rookie has been incredibly active in her community and has shown amazing dedication to her fundraising and is nearing the $13,000 mark. During COVID, she picked up a new hobby, like many of us. How many of us though picked up wood burning as a hobby? She did, and she even sold a few pieces to help with her Together Ride fundraising. Fun fact, she's an avid bird watcher who knows hundreds of species of birds and can even communicate with some of them through whistling. 
Our rock star rookie is Anna Garcia. Here's a big cheer for Anna. Thank you for all you did this year. Next is our Bright Beginning Award, celebrating the new team that has stepped up to show everyone else how it's done. Our Bright Beginning team joined Together Ride through the leadership of first time participant, Carrie Liggett. They not only recruited more than 20 coworkers and friends onto their team, but they've also raised more than $7,500 and engaged their Pride Employee Resource Group on a national scale. Let's hear it for our Bright Beginning team, the CBRE Rise Riders. I have a feeling we'll be seeing them down the road sometime soon. Thank you, Anna, Anna, I don't know why I said Anna, Anna, and the CBRE Rise Riders, and all of you who are new to the AIDS Lifecycle family and who joined us this year in Together Ride. You have all helped make a difference for so many folks. Next up, I'd like to recognize our participants who went above and beyond in fundraising by getting more donations than anyone else. Our next recipient is truly a legend. Otis Morgan secured 192 donations. That is a lot of donations. The highest number of individual donations this season. I'm proud to announce Otis as, this, as the recipient of the Together Ride Legend Award. Since his first ride at AIDS Life Cycle 11, Otis has been relentless in his pursuit for a world without HIV AIDS. During the past 10 years, he has raised a whopping $284,527. He's known for his annual fundraising music videos, his bigger than life personality, and his relentless pursuit for health justice. As a nurse at San Francisco General Hospital, Otis has spent the last year on the front line of COVID and yet still found time to raise an astounding $31,263 in support of Together Ride. Thank you so much, Otis. And, you know, we all know that teamwork makes the dream work. And there is a team that was head and shoulders above the rest when it came to getting huge numbers of average number of donations per active team member. With an average of 194 donations per active team member, let's give it up for Team Totally Awesome. It is no surprise that the team captain of Team Totally Awesome is Otis Morgan. This lovely and driven team reprised their looks and energy from AIDS Life Cycle 2019 when they hit the road for their mini AIDS Life Cycle, riding from Oakland to Guerneville and back over a weekend. Not only is this team like, oh my God, totally awesome, they're also pretty fabulous. So a big shout out to Team Totally Awesome. And next, our Team Spirit Award is awarded to the teams in each size category with the highest per team member average fundraising. I'd like to give a big shout out and congratulations to the following teams. For our extra small teams, Frankie's Rainbow Riders averaged $16,088 with three participants fundraising. Our small teams, the SF Bay's TR, with eight active participants raised $6,911. In the medium team category, hashtag team bike pod with 12 participants fundraising raised an average of $7,500. Our large teams, the team ALC Aholics with 22 participants fundraising averaged $4,279. And last, certainly not least, in our big, 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 extra large category, New Bear Republic, 68 fundraising participants, averaging $2,562 per participant. Thank you to all of you. These five teams, check it out, five teams collectively raised $461,741. Congratulations to all of you and thank you. Now, I'll be back later in the show, but first, a quick word from our friends at Toyota. We are the strong, the tenacious, and compassionate members of diverse communities. We love without limits, stand proud at the intersection of equity and justice, and come out not once, but every single day. Life is not binary. It's a beautiful and diverse rainbow of every shade. We celebrate you for the differences that make us all unique. It's the love that drives us all. 
Oh, amazing. We love you, Toyota. Thank you for all of your continued support and all of the love. Um, this is a great introduction to our amazing sponsors and how they showed up in a really big way for Together Ride this season. Uh, FedEx, Gilead, Toyota, United Airlines, Cannondale, and PwC understood that the life-saving and the life-affirming work of the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center could not and would not stop because of the COVID-19 pandemic. Yes, we worked with each of our sponsors to strategize how we could make their donations go further and bring the community together through fundraising. And well, the results were amazing. Gilead and Toyota's cash contributions went to gift matching competitions throughout the season. And in addition to these corporate partners, the AIDS Lifecycle Community Fund also participated in these match challenges. These match challenges combined helped raise more than $300,000. And in addition, Gilead and Toyota had corporate teams together raising more than $33,000. That's incredible. Thank you to Gilead and Toyota for your continued partnership and generous support. We'd also like to thank United Airlines for their sponsorship, FedEx for shipping all of our thank you gifts, and of course, our friends at PwC and Cannondale for their continued love and support. Yes, and thank you again to our sponsors for their contributions to Together Ride and for supporting this incredible community. Uh, there's been a lot to celebrate and be grateful for this past year, especially in the face of a global pandemic. So let's relive some of those moments right now. Let's invite cyclists of all ages from all places who are mission connected, directly, indirectly, loosely, and in theory to join us. What are we inviting them and you to do? Well, here we go. I'm thrilled to introduce Together Ride. We hope you'll join us and grab life by the handlebars. 1.2 million miles. Right? Mm -hmm. We need to get That's on cool. our bikes really right cool. now. We just want to give a huge shout out um, to everyone who organized this ride today. Everyone who's doing Together Ride this year. Stretch on the floor. And we won't stop, team. We can't stop, right? Until we get what we're fighting for. Let's begin tonight by honoring our long-term survivors. We have to continue to have very uncomfortable conversations. We can't heal what we don't reveal, okay? And so I do think that um, continuous outreach and building that trust between the trans community is something that's truly, truly important that has to be continuous. It has to be consistent. Um, it's not something that we can just start and stop. You know, I'm just glad that, um, that the HIV community has such a history of crisis intervention and management that I think um, we will continue to lead, not just on HIV, but also on COVID and the other issues, because we know how to do what we need to do, and we have the infrastructure in place to be of assistance to make a difference in COVID and in HIV simultaneously. start and bless the finish. Bless the road and bless the rest.
in 2021. <laughs> Inauguration day. Duh. To celebrate, I am raising three thousand dollars and riding three hundred miles for together. shows with queens in it yes we need a little queerness right this very minute it hasn't been a year for a party so grab your mask and don't be tardy to walk down to we hall they have the brightest neon lights i've ever seen check pride reminds me every year to take a step back and recall the difficulties that our community has faced we still face, but I think we have made so much progress and we've shown as a community how resilient we are, how creative and talented mm -hmm. we are, and that we take care of each other. The last time I saw you, we had just split in two. You were looking at me, I was looking at you. You had a way so familiar, I could not recognize because you... Aww. That video brought back all the feels. So many feels. Oh, you, now you have feelings? Now, at the end of the season, he has feelings now. Great timing. Well, let's go ahead and bring back Tracy to announce our Century Makers Club recipients. Feelings, girl. <laughs> oh, my God, feelings. I, I loved watching that video. I thought it was just such a great snapshot of what we've done the last several months. So thank you. I'm especially honored to announce our incredible Century Makers Club. Now, this club is the top 100 fundraising participants. Big news, there's no things that you have to do as a member except raise a lot of money and be in the top 100. And I hope everyone watching is giving a big giant round of applause to the following folks. If you're one of these folks, get your cameras ready so you can screenshot your name or, or press screenshot or whatever you need to do. Now, as we put up these names, there are 100 of them and check 10 states represented in our Century Makers Club, California, Florida, Massachusetts, North Carolina, New Mexico, New York, Oregon, Pennsylvania, Texas, and Washington. Of the 100 people in this special group, 51 of you raised more than $10,000, 51. That is a ton. That is simply stunning, right? Together, our century makers have raised a total of $1,226,434, averaging $12,264 per person. Remarkable. It has been such a joy this year. I've gotten to ride with some of you. I've been watching all of you along your amazing journeys. And whether you were one of the folks who created your own version of AIDS Life Cycle or took on a personal challenge to accomplish some ridiculous number of miles doing something, maybe you walked every day to log miles, or maybe you simply said, I'm raising money because it is important. I've been watching all of you and you are magnificent. But wait. There's more. To announce our top fundraisers and our top mileage earners, I'd like to bring to screen to the screen two of my favorite co-conspirators in all of this. 
Russell Royball from San Francisco AIDS Foundation, and Lori Jean from the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Please welcome back to the screen, Lori and Russell, or to the screen. Well, thank you, Tracy. Uh, I am so excited to be here in Los Angeles at the Los Angeles LGBT Center with the one and only Lori Jean. Thank you, Russell. And you look so pretty with that pink ascot. Well, I'm trying. <laughs> uh, I also have one more accessory uh, just for you, Lori, because you give me a heart on. Oh, <laughs> Thank you, Russell. Coming from you, I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> Shall we hug? We, we should hug. It's so great to be here live in a person where we can touch each other and be normal again. Well, not that either one of us is ever normal. Never. <laughs> so I remember our first video broadcast where I asked all of you to grab life by the handlebars, and you really did. And I couldn't be more proud of what we've been able to accomplish together. And some of you went above and beyond. Lori and I are here to recognize those individuals and teams tonight. First is our Hero Behind Handle the Handlebars Award, celebrating a participant that has demonstrated their commitment to the fight to end HIV AIDS. Ready for the award, Lori? I'm ready. And the award goes to Ken Cook. <laughs> this year, the NorCal AIDS Lifecycle Together Right community noticed the extreme efforts of one team captain who went above and beyond the call of duty in both fundraising and cheerleading. Ken Cook showed us how it's done not by not only raising more than $11,000 himself, but encouraging his team, the Marin Marauders, to collectively raise $84,000 and counting. In addition, Ken planned and orchestrated a mini AIDS life cycle, the PNW ride in Oregon and Washington, where earlier this month, he and six other riders logged a collective 2,000 miles while bringing their message of love and acceptance to life. Isn't that sweet? That's fabulous, thank you, Ken. And now we have our double rainbow award, unique and wonderful like a double rainbow. I think you and I are a double rainbow, Lori. <laughs> that, this is so gay. Who writes this script? Did you write this script? <laughs> I didn't, but you know, <laughs> if somebody too gay is gonna do it, it's gonna be us. It's good, that's right. Now this award is given to a longtime supporter of the AIDS life cycle and enthusiastic participant in the Together Ride. And the award goes to Frank Pancucci from San Diego, California. Frank embodies community. Just scroll down on his Facebook and you will see his family and his friends, his partner, and their fur baby. <coughs> and he is always out riding with the community. And he and his partner, Christopher Gomez, started the Bearded Ladies, a team that is a great representation of diversity, inclusion, and culture. He has ridden almost 1,200 miles this season and raised tons of money. And Frank has perfected the art of garage yoga. I mean, I don't know what garage yoga is. But... I don't know, but it sounds sort of dirty. <laughs> well, that's why we're into it, Lori. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now for, you know, we kid, we kid. And now for our highest achievement awards. The first award is sponsored by Toyota. The Toyota hashtag love drives the extra mile award is given to the team with the highest active per person mileage average. And a big and huge congratulations to Boo Crew for kicking butt and averaging 1,605 miles per member. Boo Crew is composed of some ALC veterans, both cyclists and roadies, and some folks brand new to ALC. Captain Emma created the team out of a Facebook group for Pelotoners who follow an instructor named Cody Rig Rigsby. And if you know Cody, you know he's fabulous. They're fabulous. Wow. Well, okay, I get to present the Cannondale Come Ride With Us Award, which is given to a person who has earned the most miles. Congratulations to Mario Martinez for logging 12,131 miles. Mario's first year with the AIDS Life Cycle was 2019. 
and since then he's raised $20,137. And Mario recently relocated to New York and is the team captain for the Funky Monkeys. Now, back in November, you, you actually saw him in the video a little bit earlier, Mario helped us log miles by leading our indoor cycling classes. Thank you, Mario. Thank you, Mario. And now, Lori, are you ready for our top fundraisers? I'm always ready for our top fundraisers. <laughs> I bet you say that to all the girls. <laughs> now. As, all... as many as will listen. <laughs> Okay, let me compose myself. Tonight, we recognize the top five individuals in each of our three regions for their incredible achievements in fundraising. And a special perk tonight, Lori, the number one fundraiser from each region will win a domestic round-trip airfare ticket courtesy of United Airlines. Wow! Well, maybe they'll take us with them. Uh, a girl can dream. <laughs> Let's hope we're going first class. Let's hope. Of course, I guess if you're on United, it's always first class. True. Truer words have never been spoken. <laughs> so let's start with Northern California. In at number five, Donna Noller. Thank you, Donna. You raised $22,887. In at number four, I think we know this person, Lori. She is a little familiar. Tracy Evans. Go, Tracy! At $25,388. Coming in at number three, you heard this person's name before already tonight, the effervescent Otis Morgan. Yay. Thank you, Otis, for raising $31,263. And in at number two for NorCal, Dr. Robert Kwan. Hi, Dr. Bob. Famous for writing in... Platform heels with clips. Yeah, uh, can't wait for the next ALC to see that outfit and those heels. Coming in number two, Dr. Robert Kwan at $33,671. And our number one in NorCal, winner of the United Airlines High Flyer Top Fundraiser Award for Northern California, Frank Duff! Oh. Woo! Raising $35,144, Frank has been a part of AIDS Lifecycle and Together Ride for nine years as a participant, and I'm so happy to say an amazing and fabulous member of the Board of Directors of San Francisco AIDS Foundation. Frank has raised $34,844 for Together Ride and a lifetime total of $67,000. $212. Thank you, Frank. Wow, way to go, Frank. And thank you, Russell. Now, I'm excited to be able to announce the top five fundraisers for Southern California. Number five, Art Desuyu. Oh, I hope I didn't butcher that name. Desuyo. $17,887. Go, Art. Thank you, Art. Number four. Rod Bran, $18,855. Thank you, Rod. Number three, Gary Boston, $22,753. Go, Gary. Okay. Number two, I love this man, Frankie Grande, $47,525. Frankie's only problem is he's not very enthusiastic. <laughs> Well, and I bet all the, the trail of glitter you could follow everywhere. <laughs> and the number one winner of the United Airlines High Flyer Top Fundraiser Award for Southern California, another man I love. I've had the good fortune to drink fabulous wine with him in many different locations. Bill Shopoff, raising $47,879. And Bill is president and CEO of Shopoff Realty Investments. He has participated in the AIDS life cycle for 19 years and raised a phenomenal lifetime total of $564,640. For Together Right alone, he raised over $47,000. Thank you, Bill. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Bill. That is commitment right there, No Lori. kidding. He looks pretty good in spandex, too. Oh, that, that's a bonus. <laughs> okay. Last but certainly not least, I'd like to welcome back Tracy to recognize the top five fundraisers for out of California. Tracy, take it away. 
Thank you, Lori, and thank you, Russell, for covering the first two categories. I'm so thrilled to get to recognize our top five out of California fundraisers. And without any further ado, number five from Durham, North Carolina, Don Ball at $11,256. From New York City, you heard about her earlier in the broadcast, Anna Garcia raising $12,820. From Bellevue, Washington in third place, Patricia Gordon, $13,025. From Powell Butte, Oregon, number two, our friend and really committed volunteer at San Francisco AIDS Foundation um, is Megan McKevich at $27,798. And our number one winner of the United Airlines High Flyer Top Fundraiser Award for Outside of California and our overall top fundraiser for Together Ride, let's give it up for R. Scott Creighton from New Hope, Pennsylvania. He is currently at $50,850. Totally amazing. Since starting his team, hashtag Team Bike Pod, Scott has raised 50, more than $50,000 and led the fundraising efforts of 15 members to raise over $89,500. This season, Scott has created numerous fitness challenges and pledged to rise one, ride 1,090 miles. Since his first ride with AIDS Life Cycle and AIDS Life Cycle 10, Scott has raised more than $290,000 for San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center. Thank you so much, Scott, for all you've done and for all of our top fundraisers. I'd also like to say thank you again to United Airlines for your support and for these amazing gifts for our top fundraisers. I'm about to sign off from here in Oakland, California, but before I do, I'd like to give a final thank you to all of you, our participants, the donors, and our Together Ride staff. We set out to do something audacious this year and could not have done anything, well, could not have achieved all we did, I don't know what I was saying there, without every single one of you. So thank you. Thank you, thank you. And now back to Lori and Russell. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, have a great night. Tracy's departing for the She's moment. She's departing. Yeah, well, yes. thank you, Tracy. And boy, those were some fabulous participants from all over the country doing great work for the Together Ride. Both of our organizations are so happy that you did. Thank you for coming out in a what is an, what is an uncertain time over right. the last 18 mm -hmm. months. And we really appreciate all of you coming uh, and raising, <clears throat> riding, walking, skipping, whatever you did <laughs> as part of the Together Ride event to support the important work of the Los Angeles LGBT Center and San Francisco AIDS Foundation. And now finally, for the moment that I think we've been waiting for, it's time to announce our total fundraising and mileage for the first ever Together Ride event. That is right. And I am so excited to announce that our Together Ride community went above and beyond. Rode, walked, skipped, hiked 823,114 miles. And for the final most important number, you have raised a total of $2,592,546. Congratulations, Yay. everybody. And thank you, thank you, thank you. Yay. You know, we know that this has been a hell of a 15, 16 months. Having to cancel the AIDS life cycle and come up with something else, uh, well, a lot of us lost a lot of sleep over it. And I know many of us have lost a lot of sleep this last year. Uh, and yet the clients who come to the San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center continued to come and in some instances in even greater numbers and they were counting on us. We were able to continue to serve them because we could count on you. Thank you so much for helping us with the Together Ride and uh, I guess it's time to, for us to hear from our friends at United Airlines. Thank you everyone. You, your work makes our work possible. We love you and we will see you very soon. And thank you, thank Lori. You. Thank you, Russell. Everything. Great to be with you. Mwah. See you all again soon.
Hello, riders, roadies, first-time participants, volunteers, friends, and allies. On behalf of United Airlines, we are proud to partner with Together Ride and share in celebrating the hundreds of thousands of miles logged, millions of dollars raised, and the community's enduring commitment to San Francisco AIDS Foundation and the Los Angeles LGBT Center. What a year we've shared. As longtime partners with our employees riding alongside you during AIDS life cycle and now Together Ride, we know this event is part of a bigger mission to end AIDS and raise awareness for the life-saving services of these world-class organizations. Although we wish we were welcoming you aboard a United flight after a successful and life-changing 545 mile ride, as we typically do this time of year, we are so honored to support you in this creative event that welcomed families for the first time and allowed riders to participate from the comfort and safety of their own backyards. Again, we are thrilled to join you tonight as we celebrate the accomplishments and achievements you have made towards your goals to grab life by the handlebars. From all of us at United Airlines, congratulations and see you in the friendly skies. And that brings us to the end of our show. Thank you so much to all of our sponsors. Congratulations to our award winners. Our, and uh, thank you to our fabulous leaders, Tracy, Russell, and Lori. Of course, thank you to my fabulous co-hosts who made this entire season so much fun, Gonzalo Garcia. And to all of you for making this an incredible Together Ride season. Thank you for being a wonderful host. I had a wonderful time. We had a wonderful time being your hosts. We couldn't leave without one more look back at the last year. You've all been amazing. Thank you. Good night.